Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be giving you a very, um, I can't even say the word. I can't, I can't, I can't say the word. A very N-A-T-U-R-A-L look, um, using the brand new, um, Makeup by Mario Foundation. Um, as you know, I did a previous review on it. Um, it's just, it wasn't given what I thought it was going to give. So I'm here to give y'all a look that you can still accomplish with this foundation. If you have not seen that video, I'm going to link it right here for you. I highly recommend that y'all check that out. And yeah, without further ado, let's get cute. <laughs> All right, y'all. So as you know, I don't really do these type of looks that I am presenting you today. I really can't even say the word. Like even just trying to say the word, no, no. I can't. And it just makes me want to gag. I just, I'm sorry. I, I just cannot. Um, they're just not my cup of tea. Cause you know, I live by the words of Miss Onika Mirage. Like who wants to look, you know, regular when you can look stunning. And that's just how I feel. And I just I just live by that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, we have nothing on but some brows. I just put a little bit of the glow recipe um moisturizer on. We're going to now go in with our refi face primer. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. So this look is gonna take me back to like my real makeup artistry. Cause as you guys may or may not know, I'm actually a licensed makeup artist. I am in retirement though. Um <laughs> but yeah, I'm retired. Um only people that could probably bring me out of retirement for like client-based care would be like SZA or Kalani. Honestly, that's about it. <laughs> um yeah, so this is gonna be um the makeup class that you always want to take for all my beginner makeup artists that want to get into makeup on clients. Um, just want to get a better grip on makeup for yourself. This is the video for you. I'm going to be showing you like some really pro tips um, that I've learned over my, what, 12 years? 10, 11, 12 years? 2000, like 2010 when I started. I guess, I guess like 12 years, something like that. Yeah. So we're going to start with a super moisturized base nice and tacky so hold our makeup because when you do natural looks you don't want a whole bunch of product and if you are using a whole bunch of products you want to make sure that they are pushed into the skin and with that being said you know you want to make sure that your skin is hydrated and you know well prepared to take on that because you don't want to look cakey you don't want to look like you got too much going on none of that high of you you know what i'm saying so this is really um the gift of gab, I think, is what this means. Like, I'm giving you these pro tips for free. So, really push that primer and those moisturizers into your skin. Whatever you like to use, whatever combination, whatever cocktail, you know, however you like to do it. Just to give you a nice, stunning base, like so. Everybody understand? Everybody feel me? Okay. So, now is when you want to go in with your color correctors, your anything of that nature right so i'm not gonna color correct um i'm just gonna go with my elf halo glow liquid filter if you have a lot of redness in your skin you want to color correct those areas with green you don't want to apply it all over your face because all over your face typically is not red you want to just focus it on those targeted areas and really push that product into the skin that way you know you're not getting too you don't want too much stuff going on so i'm just gonna take my elf in my targeted areas, just where, you know, like my skin is not perfect, where I have a little bit of discolorations, um, a little bit of markage, anything like that. So I'm not using that like I normally do, like um, all over, just in those areas where I just need a little bit of extra love at. Um, you can also go in, if you don't have anything to target, if you don't have anything to treat, you can also go in with a liquid highlighter or a cream highlighter. I'm still gonna show y'all that as well. Um, yeah, for example, this one is my absolute favorite cream liquidy highlighter type of substance. It is the Merit Beauty Highlighter Stick. And I'm going to show y'all in just a second. I have the color Citrine. And you can actually use my code right here, Erica Danley, to save on all of your Merit Beauty purchases. So, yeah. So, we're just going to gently push this into the skin. We're going to really blend it all the way out. Just so we have a nice, smooth, clean, supermodel canvas to work on like the tips i'm giving y'all today is like how your favorite models 
get that no makeup makeup look they always just look so perfect so perfected like you can tell they have a little something on but you also just think they're just beautiful gross beautiful gross um if you have trouble with like blending all of your products out you know what i'm saying if you feel like you always look cakey you feel like you always look undone with your makeup this is the video for you okay take notes save it to your drafts because honestly i may never do another one of these again because honestly it's just not me you know it's just it's just not me but i promise y'all a super uh n-a-t-u-r-a-l look i promise y'all a more softer under eye more you know cleaner looking under eye that's not so bright um so yeah that's what i'm giving y'all today so i highly recommend that you take these notes <laughs> okay so one key that i've learned to get a smooth flawless seamless base on all and on everyone is you want to go in with your products underneath your foundation because your foundations when you're doing really clean <sighs> natural looks you have to really work with the products differently because they're so lightweight. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes they don't take products as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and conceal in our normal areas. And you're not going to go super heavy with your concealer. Um, you want to go in just to the areas where you normally highlight to sculpt out your face. I'm not going to sculpt the whole under eye. Just to camouflage anything that I need to camouflage. And give my face just a nice, subtle lift. You know what I'm saying? Just a nice five pounds off the face. Not too much. Nothing too crazy. But just enough for your face shape. And this is typically enough for every face shape. You know, just the standard. You know, just under the eye and in the T-zone. is typically what any face will need. And now what you want to do, you want to go on with a super, super, super damp sponge. Your sponge should be super so wet still oh i didn't even tell y'all what concealer this is um this was the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin radiant found foundation radiant concealer in the color 1210 you want to go on with the concealer that is very next to your skin tone something that's just going to complement your skin you don't want it too bright you want to make sure that the undertones in it correlate to your natural undertones um a trick that I like to tell my clients and my beginning makeup artists um, when it comes to picking out your undertones and, you know, which colors to grab and, you know, things of that nature. You want to pick things that are close to your undertone because I'm very warm. I'm going to stick to very warm undertones, you know. Um, now, we can go in depth, but this is not an in-depth video on color matching. <laughs> it's not. Um, but, you know, typically, um, the easiest way that I like to compare it to, like, jewelry, your jewelry preference. Um, if you typically pull nice gold jewelry and that's what you typically look best in then you are gold you are a very warm undertone that's just the easiest way to um describe it um silver you're typically cool if you can pull both then you're typically neutral um so you know your warmer undertones are going to be those of a yellow a red a orange undertone things of that nature something really warm i mean y'all know like the sun is it's pretty it's pretty self kind of like explanatory i feel like um yeah your cooler undertones those of a more purple a more cooler blue things of that nature you can also take a look at your veins um and that'll help you make that decision as well um yeah and you just blend this all the way out all the way out until you start to look a little patchy that and I, and I mean that when i say that when i say patchy i mean it looks like you have you're picking up on areas that have already been blended out and what you do you just tap it back over you see how like right here um it looked a little bit patchy just now until i re-blended it back out to give me a clean finish that is how it should look so we're gonna get the forehead now and when I do this, it takes no time at all, y'all. Like, no time at all. And it's going to take you literally no time at all to do this as well. Okay. So once the nose is blended, you look like this. Really balanced, but you still have, like, this fluffiness to your skin, right? So now we're going to go in with your contour or your bronzer of choice. I like to do a really cream base before I do a um powder. And that's on whether it's natural, whether it's super snatched, whatever, however, you know. So yeah, I'm going in my normal contour areas with the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. 
to bring me some warmth, some color to my skin. And we're going to blend this all the way out. You can be a little bit heavier with this if you would like to. Um, it's totally up to you. This may be like the quickest routine I've ever brought to y'all. Like, y'all gonna be like, Erica, what? <laughs> and we're just gonna bring that bronzer right onto the eyelid. There's nothing on my eyelid. The only thing I did, like I said, was I just did my brows and I cleaned them up with my normal um, Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the color 356. This hack works for all skin types too. I, I do want to add that on there. Whether you are super oily, whether you are more on the drier side, I promise you guys it is going to work for you. Like you try this on like one of your days where you just want to look a little bit polished, I guess is what I'll say. Like you want to look pretty but not full of foundation. This is the routine that you need to follow. And now we look like this. Really, really, um, what's the word? Really, you don't look sculpted. You just look like yourself, basically. Like, no other way of putting it. So now what you want to do, you want to take your foundation. And I know what you're going to say. Oh my God, Eric, you're not pumping on your face. No, I'm taking it on the back of my hand. I'm taking two pumps. You really don't even need the full two pumps. And I'm going to start to blend this out on the back of my hand. Or if you have a makeup palette, you can use a palette too. Um, I'm just not. Um, like I said, this is the Makeup by Mario. So the Real Skin Foundation in the color 25W. I'm just using this as my palette. If you are working on a client, you should do this on a palette. Not your hand. Or unless you have like the um, shields or whatever. And you want to blend out all over your face. And look how pretty this is. This is especially great for younger clients. You know, when you're doing makeup on, like, young school girls for, like, pageants. Especially, like, you know, I would say, like, 15 and below, you know. When they're, like, at that age where, you know, you they want to wear makeup and stuff. But, you know, you don't want to, like, make them look crazy old. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you don't want that. Um, so, yeah. So you want to keep blending this all the way out in all of those areas that you just focused on. And this takes no time at all. And it still gives you a nice, it gives you this nice lifted appearance, but you still look like yourself. You don't look like you're wearing eight pounds of makeup. You're not um overdoing it or any such. And really you can do one pump, like, because this is probably like, another pump on the back of my hand still um and yeah you just want to blend it off on your hand and then apply it to the skin and you really want to take your time and press that product in and this is just perfect for you know when you feel like you can't get blended out enough um if you feel like you just struggle with blending, if you feel like you just struggle with picking out your tones and everything, this just brings it all together. You just look, you just look, you just look clean. Like yourself, you just look nice and clean. So this is what we look like. I like to go back in and reinforce underneath that eye. Just to make sure she is seamless and flawless and there's no type of creasing under the eye. And this is what we look like. the perfect base for anything um you just look like yourself you just look clean you just look well put together you look like you have a lot of money um that's what these looks remind me of so yeah now we go in with powder i'm gonna go off my traditional laura mercier um translucent honey powder and I like to gather it on my sponge when I do this because I really want it to be kind of damp and when I go in with this um, and set the entire face. I'm not baking anything. I am taking this powder and pushing it into the skin. And all of those 
areas where we applied our concealer. And go up the nose. Just like that. And grab the forehead. And the chin. And now you just want to take your sponge and go right back over everything. You want to keep pushing this in until it literally looks like just nothingness, if that makes sense. And if you are using like a bad powder, um, you just take your foundation brush and kind of like go back over just the edges just to bring you back a little bit of luminosity or whatever to your skin, just like this. Because sometimes you don't know with your powders until you use them if they are a good powder or not. You know what I mean? Um, and this just brings like a really nice finish, a nice glassy area to the skin just like so. And I'm going to go in now and finish off the face with some bronzer. I'm going to use this Juvia's Place one. I'm going to go in with the lighter shade just because I don't want to look super, what's the word, super snatched. I want to look just, you know, look a nice warmth to the skin. And I'm doing this on a really fluffy brush when I do this because the fluffier the brush, imagine, what's a good, what's a good um way to put this? Um, um, like a spoon, for example. You're 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 taking your spoon and you're dipping up gravy in a pot. Okay, this is my southern roots coming out. You feel me? Um, you're dipping up gravy in a pot. If you're using like a small teaspoon or whatever you're not gonna get a lot of gravy on him and once you get this little bit of gravy that's on here and you putting it on your rice it's gonna go right here it's not gonna go far it's not gonna blend much it ain't going nowhere so imagine a ladle or like a big dipping serving spoon that you know you're dipping up your gravy with you're getting a lot more product on here so once you apply it to your rice it's going further it's souping down in there does that make sense i feel like that was a perfect analogy um yeah i feel like that was great <laughs> I really could eat me some rice and gravy too. That sounds real good right about now. Like real, real good. So yeah. You want to keep dancing this on and blending anything missed out. This also helps to ensure that those edges of that powder is pushed in. You don't have like any flashy areas. Um, and you're just Making sure that you're all set. You're all set, ready to go. And I'm going to just take a fluffy eyeshadow brush here and take this bronzer and bring it to my eye sockets. Just to give me a little definition. Really fluffy like. And I'm also just going to bring it down the nose very slightly. I'm not going to pinch my nose. Just reinforce my natural shrimp. Don't ever say, I don't love y'all. Don't ever say, I never do anything for you guys. I do all this for y'all, okay? Look at me, look at me. I look like regular Susie. Regular Susie Q. But you're welcome. I promise you do this, you're gonna like want to freaking buy me a Range Rover. You're gonna be like, oh my God, Erica told me I do my makeup and now I look so, I look so finished. I look so pretty because... I don't want to do a bright under eye for some reason. And I just won't listen to her. And I won't take the chance of leap of faith and just do it. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to take our Juvia's Place, <laughs> Juvia's Place Volume 5 blush. And I'm going to go in with a nice soft peachy color here. And we're going to apply this upward at the top of our cheekbones. We're not going to do too much blush. Just a nice natural flow of blush. Um, yeah, like a natural pinched moment. And take it all the way up. And a good way to like pick your blush is to like pick the color that's on the inside of your mouth or like the base color of your tongue always going to be like your perfect blush tone or like if you stab your hand and look at the blood flow that's coming like right in here you see that 
let me hold my blush up to show you what I mean when I do that. I don't ask me how I learned that trick, but I just I did. I did, okay. So look at my hand. I'm trying to show y'all like right beside the blush, like when I pinch it. Perfect blush color. You see my blood coming to like the palm of my hand. You see that color right in here? It's literally that color. It's perfect blush color. It's just, it's just, don't ask me how I know it works, but I just know it works. Like, uh, you know, I didn't ask for this gift. God gave it to me, you know, like, it's kind of like how I always knew that I would do something in the beauty field. Um, yeah, I was just, I just know these things, guys. I just do. So now I'm just taking a tiny bit more powder and I am applying that right over here, just to the tops of our cheeks here. And that gives you that velvet ombre blurredness to the skin. Do you see this? It's all one area. And you just look so pretty. You just look like, you know, you just look pretty. So this is the Merit Beauty um, Day Glow Highlighting Balm. I absolutely love this so much because look at the natural luminosity you get to the skin without even trying. And I usually don't like things on top of powder, but this formula for some reason is insane. Like, look at, would you look at this? So I just take it on my finger and I just tap it to the skin. And I'm going to show you how you just get it to flow a little bit more. I'm going to take it on the brow bone because I want to look glassy on all like the high points of your face. A little bit on the cheek, even though I don't typically do cheek highlighter anymore. So now you want to take a skinny highlighter brush and you want to really brush this all the way out in really quick feathering like motions. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but like I said, this was in the color Citrine. This is like the only balm that I've ever got to like work on top of powder. The rest of them, they just, they just don't. They just don't. And I feel like Merit Beauty is just like one of these brands that's just like so slept on, like no one pays them any attention i feel like and that's okay you know i don't ever have to worry about it being out of stock um even though i've partnered with them now so i get it for i get it sent to me but even before then like i never had to worry about not being able to get my goods especially like cream blushes and stuff like that but that's another video we ain't gonna get into that so yeah and this is the final look I'm going with some setting spray to really seal the deal. Alright, so I'm just going to go in with a little bit of black eyeliner in my waterline. This is the Juvia's Waist Eyeliner. Let me have something, guys. Like, please. <laughs> I need something to make. I just feel like I look so much younger. And I don't like that. I feel like I look like I'm like 19 or something. I don't know. I just feel like that eyeliner just made me look like myself again. So I don't feel like so naked, you know. But yeah, guys, what do y'all think of the look? It just really gives like real money. Like I feel like I'd be looking like Beyonce. And I don't really like that. Like Beyonce just looks like money. And I like giving, um, what's the celebrity that I, I like giving? I prefer to give, um, what's a good analogy? I prefer a more Instagram glam, like, you know, like, full matte base and everything. I just feel like this just looks so clean and polished, and I feel like I shouldn't curse when I look like this. 
And as everyone knows, I'm gonna curse. Absolutely. I'm gonna curse. Um but yeah. I hope y'all like the video. Um, I hope this gives you what you're looking for. I hope this answered a lot of your questions. I hope this is something like you got some tips that you know you can apply to your own makeup routine. I hope that you know you got something that you can learn from. Yeah. This pretty much concludes the video. I don't really have many words to say. Um, because this is just not a look for me. Like I I, I wouldn't have I just I just no like i feel like i keep repeating that but you know just in case you know there was a little bit of confusion um but yeah i feel like the makeup by mario foundation overall is perfect for this look i mean i feel like this is really clean this is really pretty uh, you know what i mean like just really like when he said natural beauty that's what you're supposed to give natural beauty and you literally can't get more natural than this that's literally my face this is like my face with a beauty filter on it like this is just this is your favorite instagram filter this makeup tutorial is your favorite instagram filter like you just look you just look like a um cleaned up version of yourself really glowy really clean really pretty high of a high of you and it also lasts it's, it's, it's a very long long wearing makeup look because you have to think about it you have so little product on your skin and like the heavier products like your um concealers your contours they're already pushed in first so you know your foundation is on top of that and it just gives like this really uberance of vibrance of goodness i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know but anyway guys thank y'all so much for tuning into this video let me know what you thought down below let me know if you enjoyed this video because I made this video for you guys because you wanted more clean, more natural under eyes. You wanted a more natural look using the Mario look foundation. And this is what I gave you. I cannot get more natural than this. Um. So, yeah. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Um, And I will see y'all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my social platforms. Love ya.